welcome to the channel friends in this video we are going to see the scrolling scrolling of the android screen by using the ui automator locator uh, let's see the what is scenario it should be uh, look like uh, here is i have the red demo up is here i have to screen uh, i have just mentioned here that i am going to launch the app and then click on scroll you and then I am going to scroll. Okay. And then click the scroll view. I am going to scroll till the button 13 or 15. 15. Let's say let's see it's taken 15. So let's see how I am going to scroll the uh, by using UI automatic. Okay. Let's see. Uh, I have to first I have to and that string string should be in the form of uh, the uh, this uh, new ui scrollable new uh, scrollable in bracket new ui C L E C T O R selector new selector which is function then uh, dot scroll into view scroll into view Scroll into view in bracket. We have to pass the text. And I have located the text. Uh, directly passing in that 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 is a scroll by its text is a button. By using inspector, I have already located this. Uh, button 15 Let's close it and Ending the string and right as a button to string. String button 15. Okay, button 15. This is the string, and you have to pass in that uh, you have to pass this string inside the uh, UI to meter locator that's the driver dot find element mobile by mobile by dot only you have to use by dot android automator not the Directly, you have to use Android Automator. If I use, I have to import uh, another libraries. So instead of that, I am using directly the this one and pass the string above string is there. Button 15. Okay, and just end the statement or uh, save the code and just see the device. I think I hope it will functional uh, be there. Will behave the uh, well as yes, server start server running and uh, launch. It's actually open, so I came to close, close manually. Okay, on the day. 
Final voice or I, this is my real device I am launching. Okay, let's uh, let's see. I am running the code, this building the code right now. It's building code. Oh, yeah. It's now passing the. Okay, it's running that now. Yeah, it's uh, launch the application. Oh, uh, yeah. Then click on this. So I think something was missing in the text or was based. Let's see. What is the uh, the error? New UI scroll label in bracket new ui selector ui selector in bracket so we have uh, oh yeah sorry we have to close that bracket to str let's see again is there any error in that this text is uh, okay this bracket also close this bracket also goes okay yeah you have here close okay Let's see again. Let's see the code is running. Yeah, it's, it's launching the app right now. Yeah, it's launching, click on that, and it's scrolling to the 15. Oh, this kind of the you, you can use for the scrolling. Just pass the text here and over this clear as text and pass it into UI automatically. Could be also you can do and and you can get this element as a book uh, as the the same here you can give the element that to here and try to mark it as a button to button sorry what button 15 has uh, I think uh, the name could be sure uh, button 2 element I am writing element okay this you can get the element just run the code again uh, you will not find any error here. I have no, uh, not used that, so this will blur, is showing that blur. Running. Sorry for the background noise, the doggy was barking. Sorry, okay, it's launched. 
and so you can scroll without any error. It's fast. So this in this way we can use the UI automator and remember this is only uh, workable in the case of Android as it's specified Android UI automator and uh, it's different for iOS. I, the iOS didn't uh, is this method didn't work for the iOS. In case of iOS, we can use direct touch actions or the uh, touch action action uh, chains you can use in case of Python. Yeah. Thank you for watching the video. If this information is useful to you, please share and subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for the more updates. Thank you for the watching.